Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to do Elton John, Rocket Man. Now, look, I've heard this song many, many times. I don't think I've ever seen the video. She packed my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. Okay, so. You know, what I thought before was that he was an astronaut. And this is basically confirming it. So far, it looks like, yes, he's an astronaut because he misses the Earth. He misses his wife. Okay. It's lonely out of space. Out of space. He's an astronaut. On such a time, flight. I wonder what that line meant. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Well, at home, they think he's a rocket man, don't they? He's an astronaut. Um, now, of course, in the video, he looks scared and alone. So maybe uh, at home, they think he's a hero. He's doing all these things but he's not the man they think he is because he's alone scared and afraid um okay I, th I think that's what's going on here let's see yeah he's not happy being a rocket man But look, you are the man they think you are at home. You are. You know why? Because you're in space. You are an astronaut. Doesn't matter if you're afraid, scared, and alone. Okay? Uh, you have faced your fears. You are in space. Okay? <laughs> so don't beat yourself up that much. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't be afraid, scared, and alone being in outer freaking space? All right? That's not something your average person is going to do. Just so you know. All right? Rocket Uh, you know, this is making me think of a, a conundrum I had, right? Uh, this is going to get really interesting, I think, okay? So, the idea of aliens is preposterous to me, not possible, but there is a way that we could have a legitimate alien okay if a woman gave birth in outer freaking space on a spaceship okay that child would not have been born on earth 
and therefore would be an alien. So a few questions I have. Um, so first of all, we got to get something out of the way. God does definitely exist, okay? And one of the things that we know for a fact is because of evolution. Now, evolution is something that's real, but people have taken something that is very real and turned it into something that's not, that's junk science, that we were created or we were evolved from apes baloney, okay? Doesn't work like that. Uh, the evolution I'm talking about happens when a being is being created okay um for example the dinosaurs as the climate was changing so did their anatomy okay uh, as the dinosaurs were being born they were given different attributes to help them you know live in the climate Okay, so, and that happens with all bees, not just dinosaurs, it happens with human beings too. Um, because we're all born on Earth, all of our attributes are created to help us live on Earth. However, you know, and the other thing too is it's not going to happen all at once. Uh, from one being to another, their attributes being different is going to be very small. However, if you're looking through generations, then they're going to be largely different. You see what I'm saying? The further down you go, the further and further the genetics are going to be different. All right. And keeping in mind, the being creating the other being doesn't know, you know, what attributes to give their offspring. That's not something they're in control of. I think that is where God comes into play. Okay. So the question I have, like, let's say you give birth to a baby in an outer space. And then you keep doing that, right? I think eventually you could possibly have a human being that's not well equipped to live on Earth. That's what I think. Because their attributes would be given to live in outer space, wherever that, you know, however the climate is there in that spaceship, that's where you know, they would be more equipped to handle. So that's my theory. And then the other conundrum is, uh, what happens when they come back and they try to get that baby birth certificate? Is it going to be whatever state they land in or whatever country they land in? Like, how are they going to, you know, give that baby a birth certificate because it wasn't born on Earth? You see what I'm saying? So, they probably got to have some type of uh, system in place for such an occurrence, you know? So, I would think wherever the parent is from, like, that's where they would... You know, say, okay, well, this is where you live, so that's where your baby lives as well, right? And then they'll probably just ignore the fact that it wasn't actually born on Earth. It was born in space. So, <laughs> I got no idea what they would do. If y'all know, and maybe I'll do some research on it too. Uh, such an interesting theory, though, I think. You know... And it, this just happened to be a good opportunity to bring it up and talk about it because that's what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and let me know what y'all think about my theory about evolution and how it works. 
All right. Um, you know, I was just watching uh, Matt Pat talk about this evolution. Uh, it was a great video. Uh, and he was basically saying the same thing that over time, you know, the offspring, as they're being born, they would be given different attributes to live in different climates. Um, so that's really interesting, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, and so I wonder, um, what if a person, let's say it's a bodybuilder, right? And they have an offspring. I wonder if that offspring could be given attributes to support that type of lifestyle, right? Um, I got no idea about that. The only thing I do know for sure is that they would be given specific attributes that would help them survive in a climate, wherever it is that they live, right? Like, like what he was saying was, if you were born in a higher uh, elevation, right? Uh, you would probably be given attributes to help you breathe in that thinner air, okay? And that's something that's really interesting, right? And that's what I was saying. Like, eventually, if you kept giving offspring over and over and over again in outer space, that person, you know we could eventually have a human being that could not survive on Earth and would have to live in outer space. That would be ridiculous, you know? And as a matter of fact, like, we don't know for sure. So the first offspring that's been born in outer space, they could have a difficult time breathing on Earth. Like, we don't know. I don't know if it's ever happened before. It'd be a pretty interesting story, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but really, why would you want to do that? Because like I just said, you know, they could get attributes that's not well suited for, to live on Earth. And that would just be a horrible thing. I, I don't think it's worth the risk. You know, I really don't. Like, let's not, you know what I'm saying? Um. Unless, uh, I would say, unless maybe, um, it's strictly an accident and there's no way around it. Like if a woman is an astronaut, gets pregnant, doesn't know it, because it's too early to show up in any tests or anything, and it just happened. She goes up in outer space, something happens, they get stuck, they can't come home yet. There you go. You've now got a baby born in outer space. But it shouldn't happen because you want to try it out and see, you know, do an experiment. No, let's not go doing that. It's, that would be a horrible thing. You know, like how much guilt would you have? If that baby ends up suffering on Earth because they can't breathe the air properly, you would feel horrible for the rest of your life. It's not worth it. And there's no one there to raise them if you do. Okay, he's, yeah.
Yeah, he's probably still in space. He's just daydreaming. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Fully. So now he feels like he's lost at sea. Uh, sorry for all the extra pauses, y'all, but I gotta bring up something else, too. Um, being lost at sea, that's probably one of the scariest things you could ever experience. Um, you know, not knowing where you are, not knowing if anyone's ever gonna find you, uh, that would be a horrible thing to experience i'm just telling you man so look you know i just had an idea right um the lifeboats, they should have flashing lights so that if a helicopter is looking for survivors of a plane crash or something like that, if you got flashing lights on that boat, it's going to be a lot easier to see. And all the life jackets should also have flashing lights. Um, you know, and then that way, if a person is out in the water by themselves and, you know, maybe they fell out of the boat, it was a storm, they got lost and they don't know where the boat is now, or the life raft, well, they still have that flashing light on their vest. And believe me, it should be really, really bright and last a long time. Okay. Um, but at least that way, they would be a lot more visible. Just an idea. And they should have a siren. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so each life vest should have a siren that they can sound off that would be loud enough for a helicopter, you know, within a mile, I would say at least, should be able to hear that siren and know they're in sight, that the survivors can see them, you know what I'm saying, um, I think that would be an excellent idea, so each life vest should have a siren and flashing lights, you know, that they can turn on and off, you know what I'm saying, because if there's no helicopters around, there's no sense in having it on and wearing the battery off, so you see a, you hear a helicopter, turn on your lights, sound off the siren, and of course, you'd have to have some headphones or something to protect your ears, you know, but at least that way, the helicopter wouldn't get close, but just not see them. Because when you got a, a C you're looking at, you're looking for little dots about that freaking big, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a sad song, y'all. Oh, man, y'all. So, look, this video turned out to be quite a bit longer than I was expecting, you know, because I had to throw in some theories and stuff like that with it, you know, but, hey, it is what it is. All right, you know, I just love this. I, I haven't seen the video until now, all right? 
So, alright. I will see y'all in the next video. Till then, I'm out.